You figured out the basics, boy plus girl equals egg, but now you wanna take your Temtem breeding to the next level. Hello Tamers, it's Kodiak here, back for another survival guide video, and today is the day you've been waiting for, the day we unlock the secrets to 7SV breeding. Before we get started, I just want to remind everyone that we've already put out a beginner's guide to breeding, so if you're still rusty on the basics, I recommend you start there. This guide is going to break down every step in the breeding process to help you achieve your dream of owning the perfect Temtem. To best understand the process of getting a perfect Temtem, we need to set it up in actuality so you can see through the process in real time. Throughout the video, we'll be working towards a perfect Lapanite with a diamond for egg move. To reach that perfect Temtem, that is a Temtem with all seven single values maxed out, we'll have to do some setup, but the goal is to have two 5SV parents, which we breed together for the ultimate 7SV Temtem. The key is for each parent to have stats that can be passed on using the combination DNA strands. In our example, we'll have a Temtem with five perfect stats in attack, special attack, speed, defense, and special defense, paired with another Temtem with five perfect stats in defense, special defense, speed, HP, and stamina. By equipping the first parent with the mighty DNA strand, we'll guarantee to pass down attack and special attack. The second parent will be equipped with the vigor DNA strand, guaranteeing that we pass down HP and stamina. Now that's the general gist, but you didn't come here for surface level information. You came here for the step-by-step -step guide, so let's really roll up our sleeves and get into it. Breeding is the process of breaking down two separate trees, and the first tree will be aiming for five perfect SVs in attack, special attack, speed, defense, and special defense. In order to reach this point, we'll need six parents, assuming we don't get gender locked. In addition, this first tree is also where we'll be setting up the egg move. This is an additional step, but you came here for the competitive guide, so strap yourself in. Tree 1 involves two sets of parents, each bringing a different set of stats to the table so that the final breed is flawless. We'll start with parent set 1, which also happens to be our egg move parents. In this case, we're using a female crystal with perfect attack. Normally, your egg parents can be males as long as it follows the following conditions. It has one perfect stat you want to pass on, and it already knows the egg move it can pass on. Because Crystal was caught in the wild at level 24, it means I wouldn't be able to evolve it without breeding because of the current level cap, 48. As a result, I'm forced to breed for a level 1 male Crystal. Because this Crystal has perfect attack, the goal is to breed it with a compatible parent with perfect special attack. In this case, I'll be using a male Bun Bun. When I equip the Crystal with an aggressive DNA strand and the Bun Bun with a gifted DNA strand, we'll end up with a Crystal with guaranteed perfect attack and special attack. Now in a perfect world, we'll get a baby male crystal, which will allow us to pass on the egg move. However, if we do not get a male and get a female, don't worry, you can continue breeding through tier three and hope to get a male along the way. One thing to note, the first tier in the process is critical. Always breed for two stats that work with combination DNA strands. As a quick reminder, the combination strands are as follows. The Vigor DNA strand passes on HP and stamina, the Mighty DNA strand passes on attack and special attack, and the Immunity DNA strand passes on defense and special defense. Still in the same tree, let's focus on the second set of parents. In this case, we'll be using two Lapanites, one with perfect defense, the other with perfect special defense. One will be equipped with the Hardening DNA strand, which guarantees the defense stat gets passed on, while the other is equipped with the Dominant DNA strand to pass down special defense. The resulting child will have perfect SVs in defense and special defense. To recap, we now have two Temtem on the correct path, a Crystal with perfect attack and special attack, and a Lapanite with perfect defense and special defense. Tier 2 is where we'll focus on our linking stat, or the stat that will be shared to guarantee that 5SV Temtem we talked about earlier. The best stat to focus on here is speed, since it's the only single value that can't be manipulated using the combination DNA strands. We'll start this tier focused on our Crystal. We'll breed Crystal with a male Lapanite with perfect speed, and in this instance, equip Crystal with the mighty DNA strand to pass down both attack and special attack, and equip the Lapanite with a Lithe DNA strand to pass down the speed. The resulting child will have three perfect SVs, attack, special attack, and speed. 
In our example, we were lucky enough to get a male crystal, which is what you need to effectively pass along the egg move. Because we decided to go for diamond fort, we made the whole situation a bit more complicated. At this point in the process, we'll have to level up crystal, evolve it into a Sherald, learn the technique diamond fort, then, and only then, will be ready for breeding. Shifting gears back to our other parent set, we'll pretty much follow the same procedure. We'll take our Lapinite with perfect defense and special defense and breed it with a Lapinite with perfect speed. Again, we're using this tier to link together the speed stat. When both parents have a maxed out SV, that stat is guaranteed to move down to the child. So in this case, we're guaranteeing speed always moves down. To get to that point, we'll need to equip the first parent with the immunity DNA strand, which passes down the defense and special defense. The other parent gets the life DNA strand, which passes down the speed. The resulting child will have three perfect SVs, speed, defense, and special defense. We're getting close to the end of tree one, so let's make sure we're all on the same page. Before we breed any further, we should have the following. A male Sherald with perfect SVs for attack, special attack, and speed, and it should also know the Diamond Fort ability, and a female Lapinite with perfect SVs for speed, defense, and special defense. In this case, we have all of those things checked off, which means we're ready to keep breeding. Because speed is the shared stat between both parents, we don't need an item to guarantee it passes on. What we do need are items to pass down the other stats. We'll equip the Sherald with the Mighty DNA Strand to pass down the attack and special attack, We'll equip the Lapinite with the Immunity DNA Strand, which will pass down the Defense and Special Defense. At this point, the resulting Temtem should be the final parent, that is, the parent with five perfect SVs and the last Temtem needed in Tree 1. Tree 2 is a lot more straightforward because we don't have to worry about an egg move. We'll be able to use one Temtem all the way through the process, and in this case, that's a Lapinite. Tree 2 will focus on a final parent with slightly different stats, Defense, Special Defense, Speed, HP, and Stamina. Just like in Tree 1, Tree 2 starts off with two sets of parents. This time, we'll take a Lapinite with perfect HP and breed it with a Lapinite with perfect Stamina. To guarantee the stats pass on, we'll equip the HP Lapinite with the Vitality DNA Strand and the Stamina Lapinite with the Endurance DNA Strand. The resulting Temtem will have perfect HP and perfect Stamina. The second parent set will focus on defense and special defense and follows the same process as it did in the first tree. The Lapinite with the perfect defense will be equipped with the hardening DNA strand, while the Lapinite with perfect special defense will be equipped with the dominant DNA strand. The resulting Temtem will have perfect defense and special defense. Moving on to the second tier, we'll once again use speed as our linking stat. The process is identical. We'll need to breed our Lapinite with perfect HP and stamina to a Lapinite with perfect speed. The HP and stamina Temtem will be equipped with the Vigor DNA strand, which guarantees we pass down both stats, while the speed Temtem will be equipped with the Life DNA strand, which passes down speed. Shifting back to the other parent set, the same thing occurs. We'll equip the Defense and Special Defense Temtem with the Immunity DNA strand to guarantee those stats pass down, while the Speed Parent gets equipped with the Life DNA strand, which passes down that stat. We're nearly there, but there's one thing we have to do before we get to that magical last step. We need to breed one more time to get another Temtem with five perfect SVs. In this case, we'll take our Lapinite with perfect defense, special defense, and speed, and equip it with the Immunity DNA strand. Because we're using speed as the linking stat, we don't need to worry about that. It'll pass down automatically. Our other Temtem will be equipped with the Vigor DNA strand, which guarantees the HP and stamina both pass on. What we end up with is another Lapinite with five perfect SVs, this time defense, special defense, speed, HP, and stamina. There's always the possibility you'll end up getting stuck, locked at a particular stage of the breeding process because your genders aren't compatible. If this is the case, you have a few options. You can rebreed the last tier and hope that you get the right gender, or you can start that particular path on that particular tree over. Yes, it sucks, but it will guarantee you get that perfect final Temtem with seven maxed out SVs and three fertility. If you do decide to rebreed that previous tier, just understand that you're essentially reducing the final Temtem's fertility by one, which means its cell value and future breeding potential will be less. With a little luck, you'll be ready for the final breeding, the most exciting part in the process. At this point, we'll take the Temtem from tree one with perfect attack, special attack, speed, defense, and special defense, 
and breed it with the Temtem from tree 2 with perfect defense, special defense, speed, HP, and stamina. The tree 1 Temtem will be equipped with the mighty DNA strand which guarantees attack and special attack, pass on, while the tree 2 Temtem will be equipped with the vigor DNA strand which guarantees HP and stamina, pass on. The other stats, speed, defense, and special defense are all maxed and match across the two Temtem, which means they're guaranteed to pass on. And that's it. Set the timer, get some popcorn, because you did it. You managed to create your first perfect Temtem. When it comes to complexity in Temtem, there is no topic more difficult to understand than breeding, which is why we put together this video. But if you're still struggling, don't worry, we're here to help. Join Legion Gaming on Discord and immerse yourself in one of the largest Temtem communities today. We're getting close to 1,000 active members just in the server for Temtem, which means there's always someone around that's willing to help out and answer questions. If the video did help, let us know, drop us a like, and leave us a comment in the section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Cody Akin from everyone here at Legion Gaming. Thanks for watching and play on.